Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Foxtech video. This time we talk about how you can minimize the keyboard on your iPad. So here is the keyboard and by minimizing you can mean a bunch of different stuff. Because by default the minimizing icon is right here at the bottom. So you can literally just tap on it and the keyboard goes away. When you tap on the text field, once again, the keyboard reappears. So that would be the first thing how you can get the keyboard away or you can literally just tap anywhere else. Right, so you don't even have to like just click on the button in the corner. You can also just tap on anywhere else and just the keyboard makes like go away. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, this would be just the first thing or the first option that you may mean. Besides that, you might be also referring to minimizing the keyboard in the sense of making it smaller, which is possible as well. So you can go ahead and just like pinch on it and the keyboard is minimized. I mean, it is smaller to say the least, and this may be the desired result. However, if you also like pinch on it and hold down on the minimize icon, which I just showed you in just a second, you can also just click on the floating icon and it just goes there automatically. So that's the first thing that you may be referring to. Besides that, it may also occur to you that you want to make the keyboard smaller in the sense that it's going to be entirely different. And for that, I would recommend you to download a third party app. So if you literally look up the term keyboard inside of the app store, you're going to be able to find like a bunch of really interesting keyboard apps. For example, this one is not something I would necessarily recommend you to do or like this nice looking one. But if you scroll down a bit further, you have the Gboard, for example, which is official from Google and that one allows you to literally just get a fully functional replacement for your iOS or iPadOS keyboard. So that one is really useful. And you can also just get like a different styles. And the, the whole point is that the entire keyboard may actually be smaller or maybe something that you actually want, right? And besides that, you also have the Swift key, which is this one right here, which for example, has the AI implemented into it. So very interesting stuff going on in here so yeah it's up to you to decide you can literally of course of course just like as you can see here put the, the background behind the, the keyboard as well and yeah it's like an ai keyboard i'm not like affiliated with them i'm not showing it to you so you can just download it or anything but i'm just showing it to you because this could be a replacement for your stock keyboard which you perhaps may not like because you want to like minimize it or make it smaller or customize it so yeah this could be the option that you are looking for so hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Check out the, the Foxtech educational platform link, linked below if you like iPad, because it's much more like focused on iPads from now on. It's free as of right now, but we'll see what it's going to turn out to be. So yeah, thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.